Views expressed by Casters Guild members are only the opinions of that member, and that could change from day to day. Guild members may use mature language, but that in no way means they are mature. Listener discretion is advised. The SGA joins the WJ strike. We all discuss what our TikTok FYPs look like, and a lot of good representation is going around this Pride Month. That's the spell we're casting tonight on Casters Guild. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Caster's Guild. I'm your guild master, Rick Perry, the pan with the master plan. Hey, that was good. Thank you. That was good. Uh, that was and yeah, I, I can ne- I can never match uh, his uh, his witty <laughs> uh, names. Uh, so yeah, so I guess I'm uh, guild master Baron Kane, and I'm the pan with the master plan. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and joining us tonight as a new guild member, feel free to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Astopheles. I'm a person who does art on the internet. Hello, everyone. Gasp. <laughs> Gasp. So what kind of art do you do? Mainly digital, but um, oh, I actually have a, a paid commission right now that is non-digital, so that's pretty fun. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Any, any notable works that we would recognize? <laughs> yeah, there's one chilling out right behind you, Baron. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody listening at home, see. yes, I, I do. I do have a big portrait of myself and the Spawn as uh, fantasy <laughs> characters. But if you're listening to the podcast, you also have seen another work of uh, Astopheles. It's me and Guildmaster Rick, our digital illustrated representations. Yeah, I'm so honored that you guys felt like they were cool enough to use. <laughs> I, I use them yep. on everything, including yeah. our new business cards. It's actually, oh it's actually, it's actually on my uh, work ID. Oh my gosh! Oh, you guys, don't make okay. Me that cry. one, that last one was a lie. That last one was a lie. But that's not. Oh my god, that is the coolest! Dang, Baron, <laughs> you didn't tell me that. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool to see. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it was it was really cool. So yeah, we basically have just pockets full of artwork of yours. Oh my god, I don't even have that. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you count my phone, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we can if you want. Yeah, that's fine. With the technology, yeah. sweet. <laughs> but uh, speaking of awesome artwork, did anybody else see Spider Verse? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. So I was I was hoping you had both seen it because, you know, this this podcast, we don't hold back from spoilers unless there's someone actively recording with us who hasn't seen it. But since, <laughs> nice. since you both have seen it, like we don't have to hold back on anything. Oh, you know? yeah. I just saw it Monday. So my my memory is completely fresh and not muddied by ADHD at all. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was beautiful. It was a feast for the eyes, I will have to say. I had yeah, to I, see it to the point where I actually kind of felt like a bad uh, husband and father because no. we all went to the movies and my wife and daughter went and saw The Little Mermaid and I was like, I'm going to be over here watching Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Just start. Yeah, yeah. You don't got to see the, the Little Mermaid. I, I personally love the, the original. You know, I, I, I don't know. I love the uh, the animation. Just hand drawn animation just gets me. Mm-hmm. Something about it. It's beautiful. I can relate, maybe. I don't know. I, I haven't seen a single Disney live action adaptation. Not a one? Not one? Not, well, I mean, okay, hold on. <laughs> I mean, like, maybe, maybe way back then, but once they started doing, like, the Lion the remakes. King. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I haven't watched any of those. Mm-hmm. Well, the Lion King. Yeah, the Lion I mean, King's arguably not live action. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the oh, Polar yeah. Express. <laughs> right. Who would have thought that animals could be Uncanny Valley? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Disney. <know>. Disney <laughs> thought that they could pull that <laughs> off. Right. That's... Well, they didn't think it. They oh, didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bold move with me. <laughs> Somewhat yeah. well played, but not well enough. <laughs> it did, right, it right. did get us Donald Glover as Simba, though. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's fair. That's yeah, fair. and who was it? John Oliver as uh, as the Boyd. You know, John Oliver played him. The the parrot guy. God, yes. What's his name? I'm blanking. Uh, Zazu. Oh, Zazu. That's it. Yes. He played Zazu. 
I loved that. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah. Anything that he's in, I haven't even seen it, but yeah, it was perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was soured on the quote unquote live action stuff after watching Jungle Book because that was like my movie mm-hmm. as a kid. Would watch it over and over and over again. And uh, I was like, Bill Murray is Baloo. I'm sold. And then I watched it (laughs) and I was like, "Uh oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I I think I saw it, but I don't remember it. (laughs) Yeah. It was like Bill Murray is Baloo. Christopher Walken as um, the king. I was like, Mm. this can't go wrong. And (laughs) oh, boy. (laughs) And nothing can go wrong. (laughs) Oh, no, it all went wrong. (laughs) Oh boy, that's exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. Crap. I will say that if you gotta watch a live action Jungle Book, watch the one with uh, Jason Scott Lee. I will have to look mm-hmm. that up. Mm-hmm. It is not an adaptation of the Disney one. It is you know an adaptation of the book. Of the book. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it came out in '94. Wow. Okay. And uh, if uh, you don't know who Jason Scott Lee is, Jason Scott Lee of uh, Dragon the Bruce Lee Story fame. Oh. Um, yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> also, Jason Scott Lee. Right. <laughs> this is all one big advertisement for Jason Scott Lee. <laughs> yeah. He's not paid. I, not <laughs> not paid. Well, he is shirtless in most of the things he does. I will advertise for him all day. <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> That's a good as reason as any. I honestly like the reason I went to see the Spider Verse at first. I've loved the first movie. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but I didn't even know it was out <laughs> until I saw a thirst trap like TikTok. Of um uh uh big Spider Man with the fangs, Spider Man twenty Miguel O'Hara. 20... Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one. Mm. <laughs> and then I was like, husband, we must go. <laughs> we must see this. <laughs> You're gonna thirst for Miguel with Hobie right there. Right there. I mean Oh right? Oh man. <laughs> I, I don't I mean, you know, <laughs> like you, know, you can thirst for multiple people, you know? yeah. Equal okay. opportunity okay. thirster. Fair. Yeah. Fair. It's fine. <laughs> Bombastic bomb uh, bag man all the way for me. Uh, yeah, he was there. Uh, so Peter hot. parked car, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Peter parked car. Oh my god! If you're an automobile enthusiast, you know it could be a thirst trap for them. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we um, can we stop for a minute and talk about the layers yeah. upon layers of the Donald Glover cameo? Oh yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> Okay. Fine. Okay. Oh, you're right, right, right. right. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see okay. your. I see your wheels ticking. So let's start from <laughs> yeah, the yeah. beginning. Okay. They, 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 I've shifted into gear. We're good. But go ahead. Let's take it. A long time ago, <laughs> back before it. Tom Holland was Spider Man. Oh my God! Yeah. I mean, actually, I think it was around before Andrew Garfield was Spider Man. There was a great big petition online for Donald Glover to be Spider Man, the new Spider Man, and the one new fucking scene in Community. Well, no, the the scene came after the petition. From what I, from what I, I will say, and I don't know who to yeah. reference for this, so I'm just going to assume that it was it was reputable and yeah. reliable that mm. it was it was came from that scene. Okay. Now, wait, been, it could be either petition. or because I've heard it both <laughs> ways. I've heard that that scene in Community was referencing the petition, but it could have okay. been that that scene happened. And then okay. there was the petition. It could have been either way. Ooh. Sure. But yes, the scene, by the way, we're referencing in community is he's waking up and he has Spider-Man pajamas on. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Uh, I've seen smatterings of community and I love it. But like, that's an amazing thing. And that totally seems like something the Internet would do. <laughs> Just right. Start a petition. <laughs> so amazing. that, of course, didn't happen. He didn't become Spider-Man. But then later on, writers for Miles Morales admitted to using Donald Glover as an influence when writing for oh. Miles Morales. Amazing. That's yeah. real cool. And then <laughs> they took Donald Glover and put him in the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies mm-hmm. as Aaron Davis. According. Oh, it. Had- is that his did they, they ever credit say him name? as Aaron Davis, I believe, okay, in the credits, cool. right? Cool. And then he says in the movie, I have a nephew who lives around here and I don't want those guns on the streets. And, and then the famous deleted scene where he actually drops his name. Yes. Yeah. Oh um, shoot, I haven't seen that. Then 
in the first Spider-Verse movie, Aaron Davis, the Prowler, is watching Community when Miles comes over, and there's the scene with Donald Glover standing there in his Spider-Man pajamas. No, really? Yes. I completely missed that. That's amazing. What the hell? I love that. Yo, it, it, it's a very blink and you miss it scene, though. Yes. Oh, it is, it's just it like on the be, TV in the background. Yeah, it had to be mm. stopped and then like blown up for me to even notice it. <laughs> the internet will find it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if it happens, the internet will find it. That's amazing. <laughs> and now, in the new Spider-Verse movie, we get actual... Donald Glover in the Prowler uniform that I was mm-hmm. I understood when reading it that it was created for a different movie. Damn. And they have him, you know, captured in the movie, just sitting there as the Prowler. Oh wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, could I mention something? So we've had so okay, this is just my little um rant. I don't know if you guys saw the Sam Raimi Doctor Strange. Yes, yeah, I'm course. sure you did. Yeah. I'm sure you did. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why I even asked, but yes. My <laughs> so daughter Sam... actually has, uh, now all of a sudden I'm blanking on the character's name, the the girl who has the universe shifting powers. America Chavez. Wait. Yeah, America yeah. Chavez. My yeah. daughter actually has America Chavez's jacket. Oh my God. With the star on the Actual back and everything. Jacket? Yeah. Wow. How did you get it? Disney store. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's got that Disney store money. What the hell? <laughs> Shit. Damn. Who can afford those? <laughs> I was recently at in Florida, actually. At like, uh, what was it? Disney Springs. Mm-hmm. And that place is like a, a dystopian uh, nightmare world. It's terrifying. <laughs> the Coca-Cola <laughs> store. And it three floors dedicated to Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, wait, I'm getting distracted. Wait, I brought up the, um, <laughs> the multiverse movie because that movie, in my opinion, and please don't come for me, anyone, internet, <laughs> or else I won't release my socials. But um, I didn't like that movie. I didn't like the way they did the multiverse. I oh, feel like snap. there could have been so many more layers to that. And I, I feel like, like Spider-Man either. has done it so well, mm-hmm. you know? Like, yeah. Spider-Man aced it. It was amazing. It was so funny, so well done. But, like, I think I feel as though the Disney Corporation has this thing where they're just letting directors go ham and not even, like, reeling them in a little bit. You know what I mean? I, and it's, it's, as long as it keeps yeah. making yeah. them money, why do it? I know. Yeah, that's, it's, probably, that's 100% what it is. <laughs> well, I think there there are definitely some problems. Because, mm. like, there there for a while, it was directors were quitting mm. because they couldn't do what they wanted. Mm-hmm. Right. But then other directors it seemed like they were doing what they wanted, and it was just interfering with everything. Yep. yep. Uh, Doctor Strange was originally from another director, written by somebody else, and then he left, like, very close to starting to film, and they were like, all right, let's give it to Sam Raimi, I guess. Wild. Mm-hmm. Wild. Yeah. I mean, my so, biggest qualm with that was the motivation of Wanda. I feel like <laughs> yeah. she's tearing the universe apart for two fake children that she knew for like a week or whatever it was, like a month. I, I don't know. I will Seems say ridiculous. this. Her her situation in WandaVision was way mm-hmm. more relatable. Yeah. Yes. That, that made way more sense. So much more but sense. Then, and then she had a redemption mm-hmm. and then fell again. And then I, just threw it right in the shitter i guess <laughs> right i mean you would think that she had well the only thing i can think of is her using the dark hold it just fucked with her head yeah i think because that's that, the, that is even that's the explanation yeah. i think the actual explanation like what actually happened mm-hmm. is the pandemic fucked up marvel's timeline uh, and they planned on releasing yeah. things in a different order like i think that's what happened to quantum mania too like it they had mm-hmm. to completely change that movie because of yeah. the release date because i believe the reveal of kang was supposed to happen in quantum mania and they ended up having to do it in loki because they could do a tv show but not a great big cinematic movie release in the middle of a pandemic That's right fair yeah yeah that, dang it that pandemic wow. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> i'm so over sure. it i know it's still happening but i hate it but also it sure to kind of like <laughs> 
to kind of mirror your opinion, I kind of felt that way about Marvel and the multiverse in the comics, too. That Mm. Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse has handled the multiverse better than Marvel as a whole. Oh, yeah, I'd say the best out of out of all these situations where they've been handling the multiverse. Like the idea of the multiverse being like a spider web and like Mm -hmm. being a huge part of who Spider-Man is and all the Spider-Mans that has always been handled better than just like multiverse and Marvel in general. Yeah. Did you notice though, that before they busted out that big web, the glowing white, Mm Mm-hmm. The, like tree kind of thing the, mm-hmm. that that they pulled that started Straight in Loki, Loki, I think. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. That was cool. That was very cool. That whole movie was just wonderful. And <laughs> when we were in the theater, it was so cute because there were a ton of kids, right? And the movie ends, and it ends. Um, for those of you who don't know, which I fucking didn't anyway, it ends with a part two, and this little kid goes from like. <laughs> the back audience and goes, "Are you freaking kidding me?" <laughs> <laughs> I was so it, cute. It was jarringly <laughs> sudden, though. I, I mean, so, I get it. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, it was so sudden. It was like the end of an episode, and you're like, "Wait, can I just? I'm still watching. Please continue playing." Yeah. Damn it, Netflix. <laughs> Damn it, Netflix. <laughs> yeah, I was in the theater. My wife and my daughter went to go watch Little Mermaid while I was watching. Ooh. Spider Verse, and their movie was seven minutes shorter than the movie I was watching, wow. and I felt like I was like halfway through the movie. I was like, "Oh, this is getting real good," and I got a text from them like, "Oh, we're done, waiting on you," and I was <laughs> like, "No, there's no fucking way this movie is over seven minutes from now." And sure enough, <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was in fact over in seven minutes, and then. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's so sad too. It was it was actually a very sad realization when I realized there's like there's no way there's more movie. I've been sitting here for a while now, and I feel mm-hmm. like time's running out. <laughs> I just had no idea. I don't watch spoilers or anything. I, I don't when it comes to Marvel, especially. I, I don't like to be spoiled. Yeah, I try not to. I, I well, I I've actually even made a vow to not even fuck with you Leaks. know the. The leak uh, mm-hmm. sites that they have, I, I hate them. Good it's, God, it's it's horrible. A holy if, vow. A holy vow. Yeah. Wowzers. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna actually set up a whole paladin path off of it. <laughs> the have order, you ever order of the anti leak. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, sorry. If you ever broke that vow, you'd be like the worst anti-paladin. You'd be like oh that God. guy yelling like, Stape dies out the window of the moving car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just like spoiling everything all the time. This is, this is a amazing. whole thing. This is going to turn into a whole thing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was, I will tell you though, I am sad. I'm, I'm always sad when Deadpool doesn't show up in things, but I'm really sad he didn't show up in this movie. It would have been so perfect. Can you imagine him in a, just full of Spider-Man? It's got to be a licensing thing. Eh, yeah. Oh, but how funny, but I mean, you're right though. How funny would that have been <laughs> in, well, it, it, the perfect time would have been when they were chasing Miles. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and he was just one of the Spider Man. Yeah, they were like, like <laughs> Ninja Spider Man. <laughs> he was the only one that couldn't run on the wall. He's like running on the ground. He's got his like <laughs> knives out, just climbing things. <laughs> He's like, "Have I died and gone to heaven?" <laughs> it's impossible, but you know what? I want to see it. <laughs> like, I want to see was, <laughs> that. Was a joke in an old uh, Marvel versus Capcom three ad. Like mm-hmm. somebody was like, "Who's this Ninja Spider Man?" And Deadpool's <laughs> like, "Ninja Spider Man." <laughs> I mean, so yeah, that would have been a perfect callback to that joke. Just like it, like have a little thing because like they had little text introductions to a lot of the Spider Men to show who they were, and just like Mm. just have it's it's Deadpool. It's obviously Deadpool, not a knockoff Deadpool or almost. No, it's Deadpool, and instead just underneath it, just Ninja Spider Man. Right, right, yeah, (laughs) yeah. Oh my god, I would pay good money. I would pay good money, which is just, you know, regular money nowadays, so good money. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh yeah. 
Inflation. <laughs> See, now you guys got me wondering. I'm wondering if maybe he was in there and we just kind of missed him. It, uh, oh. Lego's a blink and you miss it. Like, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, you know what? No. No, I take it back. There's, I don't think he was in there. I'm looking no. at the... Uh, I'm looking at the poster that they released a long time ago. Mm -hmm. it, it's like a wide one. Miles is upside down. There's just a bunch of spider people behind him. Mm. And I remember some of these theory guys. They're they're like looking all the way in their back and like, oh look, and that was Deadpool. And it's like you are reaching. Sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they see what they want to see. <laughs> yeah, there's no way Fox let no. let go of it for no. for Sony. Well, it wouldn't be Fox. Oh yeah, Disney does own it now, and don't, don't they? Well, yeah, I guess then maybe. And I, I think that Disney would let it happen, but yeah. it didn't. Well, we got a whole it other was, movie for it to happen. So. What really killed me yeah. about some of these guys that were reviewing this picture is again they would go all the way into the back and with confidence would try to say which Spider-Man it was, and it's like, <laughs> how did you get that out of that? You didn't. You're just making shit up, aren't you? Also, why is Doppelganger Spider there? Unknown. <laughs> Unknown reasons. I mean, he's not just a bad guy. He's literally straight up evil. Ooh. Literally straight up evil. I don't know why he's there. One of the animators, <laughs> it's their favorite Spider-Man. And so Fair. they just Fair. drew it in. Uh, I'll give it to you. It's got to be. Yeah, there were yeah. a couple I was looking for that I didn't see, but that doesn't mean they weren't there. Like a uh, web weaver, web weaver, which we were talking about uh, last week. Um, oh, right, right, right. And uh, spiders, man. Spiders, man. Ah! Ah. <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> uh, my husband explained to me spiders, man, on the yeah. way home. And I was like, what, you mean from Rick and Morty? Like 10,000 ants or whatever? <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, exactly bit, yeah. like that. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say I will say that if they did put Deadpool in there and he was more than just a guy running in the background, he should have been uh Pavatir Prabhakar's best friend. Oh. Yeah, that would have been cool. Because, you know, the voice of that guy was the taxi driver in Yeah. That would have been quite oh. the tie in. Heck yeah. Oh right, I knew his voice was familiar. He was amazing too. Amazing. He was so good. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that guy is that guy in Deadpool was such a great comedic actor. Did you oh, know yeah. he wrote the Chai Tea joke? No, he didn't. Yes, what? he did. I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. I would love that if that were true. That's really cute. He was doing an interview about how, like, when they were making him, like, they had him come in and look over a lot of the dialogue and did, like, a little writer's room, little round table with him and let him rewrite a bunch of the material. And he came up you know, with the, the, the Chai Tea joke. You know, you know how he did it. I bet in the script it probably said chai tea. Yeah, oh, probably. Sure. And then he was for like sure. tt. <laughs> He's like, why would you write this? <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, everyone. I'm going to educate you all right now. <laughs> I'm taking out my red pen. <laughs> tea. That's amazing. Oh, and the villain. The villain was like so amazing because. He was so funny and goofy and stupid at first, but then he got so scary so fast. It was mm -hmm. amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. that was just really well done, that that building. And the fact that he's the same quippiness as Spider-Man mm -hmm. was just such a good, like, they had such good dialogue together. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Also, just the writing of it, it the, the mirroring mm -hmm. of him creating Spider-Man and Spider-Man creating him, specifically mm -hmm. Miles, and mm -hmm. it just, ah. Uh, Chef kiss. Oh, yeah. Very much so. Yeah. And Hobie. <laughs> and that Hobie. They spent Hobie. <laughs> three years trying to figure out how to animate that man, and they fucking nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Which, by the way, for any of the animation nerds out there, most movies, animated movies now, are animated on the ones, which means there's motion every frame. Mm. In the original Spider Verse movie, they animated all the other Spider-Man on the ones, but animated Miles on the twos to show that he was out of sync with the other Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And then later on, when he becomes full on Spider-Man and accepts it and takes the leap, he starts getting animated on the ones. Wow. But in this new movie, he kind of goes back and forth between being animated on the twos and animated on the ones. 
Mm. Which, by the way, that animated on the twos, meaning motion every two frames. So every frame in the middle is the same as the frame before it. And didn't they make Hobie even choppier than that, though? Hobie is animated on the threes, which is something that is just straight up not done. But they did it for him just to show how out of sync he was and how by his own beat he is. He's animated on the threes. That's amazing. That's mm-hmm. really cool. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm learning. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and really, Miles. Miles saying what we were all thinking. How could you be cooler under the mask? I was, just, I was this cool the whole time, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're so cute and with the baby when he's holding the baby oh, it was so adorable so you're yeah. a little anarchist yeah <laughs> <laughs> so cute <laughs> uh, yeah no that movie was amazing I'm, I'm definitely excited for the next one which probably won't be out for you know March <sighs> March Yep. Yeah, March oh well thank you everyone <laughs> I'm learning more <laughs> Yay! See, this is what and, I mean. I'm not tagged into anything. I have no idea what's happening at any given moment. And I they're working that. on another live action film, another live action oh. Spider Man Spider Man film. Which, if Miles isn't in it, I'm gonna fucking scream. Yeah. Like I feel like they've hinted enough. <laughs> like Miles and Donald Glover as the Prowler have to be in the next live action Spider. Have to. So, be. Oh yeah. So I think that just hold on to your pants real quick. I saw something. And while you're looking that up, there is also a spinoff of Spider-Verse in the works, a Spider-Woman spinoff. Hey! Oh, that's amazing! Specifically starring the Spider-Woman who you saw who was pregnant in this most recent film. Oh, I love that. I mm-hmm. loved that. I loved the detail of her being pregnant, and I loved her character design. It was just so gorgeous. Mm-hmm. The, the like yellow glasses goggle. I mean, it was just so good. All of the design was so good, but when she when she like pointed at her belly, I was like, "That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Representation! Hell yeah! Pregnant superheroes! Let's do it!" <laughs> I don't know why I got really pumped about it. <laughs> no, it, it is something to get pumped about. I mean, mm-hmm. they did a lot of representation movie. They had the the handicap spider um, Spider Man or Spider Woman, depending on how you look yeah. at it. Still using the the wheelchair and the crutch web web shooters. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and a lot of people and while I do think it's a bit of a stretch I think the evidence is compelling a lot of people are saying that Gwen Stacy Ghost Spider might even be trans in this movie uh, that, that is mine in the spawns because I we could be wrong we could be just seeing things where it worked where it wasn't mm. we did see the trans flag in Gwen's room but oh. we even also think we saw it we also think we saw it on her dad's uniform. It is. It is oh, on dad's is. uniform. Then it, oh, it that, which is no be. way. That's the there's most no compelling way. piece of evidence because no More way a trans. cop would wear that flag unless they were an ally just, or trans just themselves. Randomly, just randomly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And did you notice the uh, the hashtag BLM uh, pin on Miles' she, backpack? This mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, I, I couldn't stop staring at it. I was like, yes, I'm like on the, on the big screen. Oh. Amazing. And, and his, yeah, and his dad's a cop, too, so that's really cool. I mean, yeah. I know his dad's black. Yeah. You know, wish, mm-hmm. would be supporting that, but also a cop. And yeah. histori- you know, throughout this whole thing, cops have not been too cool with the BLM, so. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, I mean, there's not only that, but all of Gwen's colors, like anytime you go back to Gwen's universe or anytime Gwen's doing anything, it's always the colors of the trans flag. Oh my God, it's so true. Mm -hmm. And just there's there's a lot of hints at Gwen being trans, which if it's supposed to be that she's trans and they didn't like make it an entire plot point, uh, congrats. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the subtlety is great. I think that's really wonderful. And I think it's a great way for a lot of animators to get their stuff in, you know, like that's how they do it. They do it subtly and they do it beautifully and it all works out. I love that. Mm. So my research has led me to Gizmodo. Mm-hmm. I checked a few other sites and um, they were not, I, I, they, they, they teased it in the headline and then didn't really follow through. Mm-hmm. Gizmodo, 
said, quote, Sony Pictures' Amy Pascal recently confirmed that a live-action movie for Miles is an early development or will be once the WGA strike is over. There you go. Whether, well, hold on. Whether this means he'll be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or do his own thing and maybe fight whatever weird version of the Sinister Six that Sony's been trying to make happen is up in the air. They need to put him in the in the cinematic universe. They have to. This, this is what I think. They should just let Tom go over to MCU, mm-hmm. and then Miles gets his own line of Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, or that could Tom. work. Yeah. That could work. Yeah, or just kill Peter. That's how Miles came came about. Is, yeah. is Peter died? So, yeah, that's true. That's so funny. And I had the I had the opportunity to rewatch the first movie because I was flying um, cross country recently, and I rewatched the first movie. And it's so funny how many tiny details that they put away in that as well. Mm-hmm. But like, I I loved Kingpin in that too. Like they just do villains really well because mm-hmm. Pink- Kingpin was like sympathetic but a total bastard. And like Octavia, I mean Octavia. I mean I could talk about Octavia. I mean I could talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> She's, you know, I mean, she's pretty cool. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> she's gorgeous. I love her. Maybe. Yeah, and evil as hell. Like, they... Yeah. they just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love a villain. I love yes. a villain. Yeah. I've always loved a villain. <laughs> Give us the uh, arc Hercules. where uh, Doc Ock takes over Spider-Man's body for a while. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yes. But it's Octavia. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> ah! No, it has to be a thing now. Yeah. Oh, my God. That'd be so good. Yeah, no, I, the villains, villains just get like when I was a young child, I would watch Hercules over and over and over again because of Hades. I loved him so deeply because <laughs> James Woods also amazing. Yeah, I think they, yeah, sometimes they really hit their stride with villains. So this yeah. is I'm going to go a long way around to explain this meme I just saw because, you know, we're in audio format. But have you seen the Saturday Night Live sketch? Uh, where Nicolas Cage is sitting there with Andy Samberg doing his impression of Nicolas Cage, and they're talking to each other. Oh, I don't think I have. I'd have to see. Let me just, I'll look up. I'll look it up. (laughs) So I saw a meme, and it had Spider-Man Noir, right, next to Mm -hmm. Nicolas Cage. And then it had Scarlet Spider next to Andy Samberg dressed up and doing his impression of Nicolas Cage. I'm, this is a weird Google, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Which I felt like was a perfect representation of how they did Scarlet Spider, because he's voiced by Andy Samberg, basically doing a Spider-Man noir impression. Impression. I, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Scarlet Scarlet Spider fan and yes, didn't didn't like it all that much. I thought it was hilarious. What, what did they do to my boy? <laughs> Ben, no. no! It was, it was, it was fucking hilarious. It was. It was, it was. Okay, I'm not coming up with it here, but I'll find it eventually. I'm sure. If if you see it, then you won't be able to unsee it because you'll be like, "Yep, that was Andy Samberg doing his Nicolas Cage impression in order to Love be it. Scarlet Spider." Nice. <laughs> now, because Google listens, it'll happen. We've put it out there into the ether. It'll be great. It'll be good. But I love that that team up at the end. They're like, we're we're coming to get you, Miles. And like, you've got all the Spider-Men from the first movie standing there at the end, meaning they are going to be coming back for the first movie. And we're going to get Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham and, you know, Penny and all of them back again. Yes. And uh, and then you got the new ones. Hobie was there. Mm-hmm. Ugh, so exciting. It is super exciting. There was one Spider-Man that I was upset wasn't in there, but I can't remember who he is now. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) It'll come back to you when the the podcast has been over for Uh, a Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, god damn it. (laughs) I'll call Rick up. I'll scream something into the phone and be like, put that in a podcast. (laughs) Come, come, no, no, come join our Discord to find out the Spider-Man that Baron was upset (laughs) was gone. Come join our Discord. It'll be posted there. You do like a fun edit, like a little record scratch, and then it cuts to yeah. the thing Baron being like, "It was this one." God damn it! Future, future Baron here, and he's pissed as hell. <laughs> he's mad. 
<laughs> Look <man>. angry. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, that's not the, that's not the Spider-Man <laughs> at all. Wait a minute, what? I missed something here. Wait. I'm sorry. I'm just, I I shouldn't make references to other people's stuff. Like I'm I'm too big of a Game Grumps fan not to like make Game Grumps references. Oh, gotcha. I I'm, I'm more familiar with old school Game Grumps than I am with the new the oh, new fan. It was pretty old school. Like Aaron was trying to figure out uh who invented Facebook after watching the Facebook movie. And then, like, texted Dan two hours later in all caps, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll have to look that up. That sounds hilarious. <laughs> well, uh, poor Dan, he puts up with so much. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, God. Well, now that we spent 40 minutes talking about Spider-Verse. <laughs> Yay! Well, let, let, me, let me use it as a jumping off point. Remember how I said that depending on how long the uh, Writers Guild of America strike goes on you know the miles morales live action Mm -hmm. so the screen actors guild as of monday have authorized a strike so they've joined Um, wga in their strike not 97.9 percent of voting members voted yes to authorize a strike the rest of them didn't vote (laughs) <laughs> the rest of them didn't show up to the vote. Like well, that's... <laughs> I I will say I will say that only forty nine percent voted. Yeah, ah, forty nine yeah. percent of card holding members voted. But I mean, mm-hmm. still, if you if you look at it that way, it's like okay, half of you voted, <laughs> yeah. and 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 you voted almost overwhelmingly yes. Yeah, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure if you got a hundred percent, you still would have got a yes out of it. Yeah. who was left. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet the rest of them were just like, oh, crap, was that today? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> oh, no, they, they got all the ones that were going to vote no into a room, and they're like, all right, guys, donuts in here. We're going to bring in the ballot boxes. Just wait. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> they yes. had Jay Leno, Jay Leno bring in the one box of donuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut in half. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, we're back on that now. Great. <laughs> That's a reference to last episode. Go back and listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta, and I will. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jay oh, Leno man. cutting things in half? Is that the joke? Is he a ninja? I what guess you're you? gonna have to find out. Damn, yeah. oh, so intriguing. <laughs> we're getting no, real good. Know. We're getting real good about not talking about past <laughs> That's really past good. podcasts. <laughs> I'll ham it up too for the odd. God, guys, doesn't that sound really cool? We should all go back and watch it after this. Hey. Oh, man. But, Baron, you know what you don't have to go back and listen to last episode for? Is it an advertisement? Oh. For geekyclean.com. Hell yeah. <laughs> The handmade monthly dice set bath bomb subscription box is the ultimate indulgence for dice enthusiasts and bath lovers alike. Every month, subscribers receive a curated handmade dice bath bomb, each with its own unique scent, color, and set of dice. These bath bombs are carefully crafted with high quality ingredients, providing a relaxing and exciting soak every time. The colors and scents change each month, so subscribers never know what to expect. From vibrant hues to calming shades, and from sweet and floral fragrances to spicy and invigorating scents, the dice bombs change every month. And of course, the highlight of the subscription box is the different sets of dice. Each month, subscribers receive a new set of dice ready for their next adventure. The dice bomb for June is scented with a coconut fragrance and includes green, blue, and yellow swirl dice. Each bath bomb also comes with a linen dice bag. And don't forget, you can get 10% off your subscription or any other order with our link or discount code Guild Decree. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. That's so dangerous in the bath. <laughs> like, uh, the D4? Oh my god. If someone up sitting could get on hurt. the D4. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I mean, it sounds really awesome. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But that D4, man, it haunts me in my dreams. Like Lego pieces. Terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I, I have I have friends in the uh, in in wrestling and stuff like that, and they did a big uh, Lego death match. No, and I'm like, you should do this on D force. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're oh trying God. to kill people. 
All right, oh. Satan, what's your next idea? <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine the ER? They're like, we've got all these people with strange puncture wounds. What is going on? Did they lay on a bed of nails? <laughs> worse. So much <laughs> worse. So much worse. And nails, you have an equal amount of support. Nah, d don't care. <laughs> They're there to kill. All right. So we talked about Spider-Man and to the Spider-Verse for 40 minutes, but I have to say, I saw a headline for a new Studio Ghibli movie. Oh. And it's doing like a shadow release. Like they're not doing any official announcements for it. They're not doing a trailer. They're not doing any kind of press leading up to the movie. They released like a poster and a date and the title, which was uh, How Do You Live? I just Googled it. It's right. There's no images, though. Like, all the images you get are for um, Earwig and the Witch, which is, I think, the other most recent or one of the most recent. There was one image, which will be on our Discord by the time this comes out. And it was in a tweet. And since you are recording with us now, I will share my screen so you can see the image. Yay! Thank you. I don't have a Twitter, so that's awesome. (laughs) So there we have it. All right. Oh, and that's this, a Pokemon. That's a Pokemon. <laughs> that's that's this, straight up a Pokemon. <laughs> this is all we get. And it was this image in the oh. title. How do you live? Uh, and it'll be in theaters in Japan on July 14th. Who knows when we'll get it in good old US of A. Oh, my God. That is really cool. That's kind of Nausicaa Valley of the Wind-esque almost. Like, it's oh, got yeah. that kind of aesthetic. That's really intriguing. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, we did a whole episode on Ghibli, and anyone who listened to it will know we are huge Ghibli fans. Mm. Uh, I, I wish I could talk more in length about what this film might be or what's going on, but we know nothing. So just keep an eye out, people. Like, Look for the U.S. release date, because that's all we're going to get. Mm-hmm. So the last thing I had on my docket, the last thing I have to talk about is General Mills just added another monster cereal to the lineup for this uh, spooky season. Oh, no. And it's Carmela Creeper. She is a Frankenstein DJ, and her cereal will be a caramel apple cereal with marshmallows. I mean, honestly, it sounds amazing. It does. It does. And because of that, I mean, for those who follow the monster cereals like the weirdo that i am it also means this year we're getting a new monster mash cereal for those who don't know that's when they take all the monster cereals and put them together in one box and they're calling it monster mash remix they're adding in carmella and bringing back fruit brute for the monster mash even though he doesn't have his own cereal anymore it will be in the monster mash wow this is this is very cool, and this is also like a whole lore dump that I have no idea about because I was raised on like Raisin Bran, <laughs> like really Raisin bad, Bran. really bad cereals. <laughs> Raisin Bran, the the box of cereal you never think you want until you get a box and then you eat the whole box. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. It still has sugar in it, right? Like it still has a fairly high oh, sugar oh, count. Oh yeah. My parents just thought it was better for you, like sun chips, you know? Oh, <laughs> God, sun, was, sun chips are so bad for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. The commercial said they're good for me. No, they're super bad. They're super bad. <laughs> Wait, is it? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it because they're a bad influence? No. I mean, it, that doesn't Maybe. help. <laughs> that doesn't help, but that's definitely, you know, they're definitely not healthy. Oh, yeah, all. like all those oh, advertisements no. where they're um where they're vaping. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. just the bag of chips just puffing away. Oh, no. <laughs> Wearing a leather jacket, real cool. <laughs> but yeah, those of us who love the monster cereals, Count Chocula, uh, Yummy Mummy, Boo Berry, they, uh, Frankenberry, mm-hmm. know that they got rid of Fruit Brute a while ago. We were all really upset about it. But yeah. Carmella is a satisfactory replacement, in my opinion. And the fact that they're bringing Fruit Brute fruit brute i can't say that fruit brute back for the monster mash is very exciting yeah i'm looking at her now she looks pretty cool she looks mm-hmm. like a girl who can hang yeah i like her mm-hmm. it really sounds like that it's gonna taste good so that's i mean what i care about the most obviously but yeah. yeah the uh yeah sounds i mean and it's also i mean it seems to be very fitting for the season 
I'll be very surprised if it's not another turn your milk green cereal. Oh, it better for be. sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. It better be. I mean, be. look at right. that. That's like 90% green mm-hmm. <laughs> cereal. <laughs> it's pretty green. <laughs> so, I just found something else out. Uh, we're going to flash back to the beginning of this episode. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> you remember how I said to watch Jungle Book with yes. Jason Scott Lee? Mm-hmm. Yes. Also watch it for Carrie Elwes. What? Oh, hell and, yeah. <laughs> and Lena Headey. Oh, my God. In what roles? Be still my bisexual heart. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah, my, mine exploded. It's done. <laughs> oh, Lena. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I found I just found a I was just going through pictures of Jason Scott Lee in the jungle book for no reason. And um <laughs> sorry. I just happened to find a picture in Carrie Elwes with a little mustache and like military uniform and Lena Headey in like this corseted dress. Mm. Very I, I don't what is this? Edwardian? It looks Edwardian to me, so I could be wrong. We're sticking with Edwardian. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm I'm seeing it. And John Cleese? Where's John? <laughs> Who does John Cleese play? He's in the cast lineup. Oh, uh, I think he's just. I I see a picture of him, Doctor Plumford. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he may be like Lena Headey's character's father or something. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah, it looks pretty great, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I watch this. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Jason Scott Lee and Carrie Elwes getting in a fight. They look like they're going to tussle. Stop. Who is this? That is not Carrie Elwes. I refuse to believe it. I want to know what you're seeing so bad. What are you looking at? The mystery. It's it's too much. (laughs) But I'll share it in Discord. Okay. We're all going to be watching this movie right after we get (laughs) I think I'm recording this podcast. I'll have to take a break from his dark materials. <laughs> take a moment away. All right, oh, with man. with it being Pride right. Month, by the way, Happy Pride, everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got to bring up this story that I saw recently on Kotaku. So most people know who follow the Crash Bandicoot series that Toys for Bob took over Crash Bandicoot from Naughty Dog a while ago. And they released a new game, Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. They are currently working on a new game called Crash Team Rumble. And they are creating their a few new characters, a few new heroes in order to play with because it's a multiplayer game. Kind of like Crash Team Racing was. And they are creating the first Crash Bandicoot confirmed non-binary character. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. It's ama- wait, wait, wait. Where is there images of them or...? So okay. images will be in Discord, but the Again. character oh. is Catbat. Uh, the oh. character has been inspired by David Bowie and is a part cat, part bat rock star. Wow. That is, am- okay. I love them. Look at them. They're so mm-hmm. badass. <laughs> and, That's amazing. And confirmed non binary. Hell yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. I so love that. Go toys for Bob. Yeah. Representation. <laughs> Man, that's really cool. What a cool design. All right. Man. Yeah, they look like a total badass. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love oh, the man. little old spiked bracelet on the tail. <laughs> that's such a cute detail. That's so <laughs> cute. And the piercings and everything. That's just mm-hmm. perfect. Um, they look like they'd be really good friends with our, our friend that we were discussing from the Spider-Verse, actually. Oh, with Hobie? Yeah, I mean, yeah with Hobie. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Bombastic bag man. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Crossover. Spiders man. Yeah. Spider <laughs> Spiders man. <laughs> uh as far as I know, that game doesn't have a release date for it yet. Oh my god, there's a whole comic starring Catbat. Oh my god. Uh all you guys are gonna get that link in the Discord. Go check out the Catbat comic. But yeah, as far as I know, there's no release date for that game yet, but they're working on it. So look out for that. That is awesome. We're we're moving up in the world. We've got more and more representation every day. I love that. I love oh, yeah. that for us. <laughs> I love that for all of us. It's beautiful. It makes me real happy. 
So speaking mm-hmm. of non-binary characters in video games, I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom. Hell yes. I just... <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was in the uh, the water temple area. La- uh, my game is like literally paused in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> I even obsessed. Oh my Although god! I've been, oh, I've been playing. playing Breath of the Wild to catch up, and then <laughs> you are going to be right over it. You are going to be an entirely different world once mm-hmm. you switch over oh. to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm sure you want to you want to hear a dumb gamer move. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so months ago. Nay, perhaps more than a year ago. Mm-hmm. Nay, maybe a couple years. Oh, I was playing Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. I made it. I made it to the first divine beast. Four hearts. I only mm-hmm. had four hearts. Which which divine beast did you do first? The elephant. Okay. Uh, yeah. I make it all the way to the uh, Ganon. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm Water Blake Ganon. Yeah. Yep. I just can't. I just can't do it. <laughs> I keep, I keep, I, I guess I went in one. there. Well, I went in there and I was like really low on arrows and, you know, my weapons weren't great. And I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just stuck. So I try to get out and I, I can't find my way out. Uh, you know, and then like I see the wharf where I'm at, where I was. And I'm like, you know what? I could just jump off here. Oh no. Float all the way over there and probably just swim to the wharf. I'll be fine. <laughs> So I, I floated all the way over there, and I died. Mm-hmm. So I realized it's not letting me off that way. And I have no clue how to get off of there. And I guess it pissed me off so much that I didn't even try to look it up. I just put the game down and didn't play it until like a week ago. Oh, mm. no. <laughs> oh and I'll tell God. you why. I, and oh. I'll tell you why. That's the I biggest rage to quit. <laughs> I, told, I told someone the deal, and they were like, why, why didn't you just hit press start and then leave the area? I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, so I oh. opened the game up, hit start, press leave area, almost rage quit again. <laughs> oh, God. I tell people all the time for both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, they're both games that are really hard until they're not. That's true. For sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's fair. Yeah, because you start out that game with no gear, no hearts, mm-hmm. no nothing, and it's really hard. And then all of a sudden, you'll reach a point, and everything will click. You'll have the gear that you want. You'll have gotten enough hearts from shrines, and like you'll have enough experience with the combat system that it just won't be hard anymore. All of a sudden, you oh. are the fucking hero yeah. of time and fucking killing shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I got like. 12 hearts and i'm like you know what maybe i'll go back to the elephant and try it again <laughs> good lord good. i think i killed him with regular arrows mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ridiculous mm-hmm. and then i went straight from that to the uh the uh, the the lizard on uh death mountain Oof. beat yeah. him pretty easily too it was yep. stupid <laughs> i made that game easy by going to wish.com and buying a book of amiibo cards Oh my god! So it's, it's like a little book, and it's got a card for every Zelda amiibo. And so, like Amazing. every day when I would log on and play the game, I would just scan every amiibo and just have a bunch of shit, including all like the armors and stuff that you can only get from those amiibos. And the Wolf Link amiibo card is a fully loaded twenty heart Wolf Link that just like fights Ow. with you. God damn, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he just hangs out with you like he's your buddy and like helps you fight, which is awesome. Wow. Wait, what happens? I have Animal Crossing amiibos. What happens when I put them on? So you'll get stuff. Have... You'll get oh. stuff like like meat, mushrooms, fruit, stuff like that. But like none of the, you won't get any chests. Like uh. the Zelda amiibos drop chests, which have like good items in it. In Breath of the Wild, you would you had a chance of getting exclusive items, like exclusive armor and stuff like that, that you could only get from the Amiibos. Tears of the Kingdom doesn't do that. All of the armor that was Amiibo exclusive, you can actually just find on the map now in Tears of the Kingdom. Mm. Oh, yeah. The the necessary Amiibos, that really sucks. I, <laughs> I went to a GameStop recently, <laughs> and we ended up getting to, into this long conversation with the guy there. And he said this thing that has not left my brain ever since, which was, no one hates their fans more than Nintendo. 
And I was like, oh, it's so sad and true. Like, I hate that, but it's so true. They're so mean. Oh, I disagree, <laughs> but I, I don't think they understand is, is my thing. I don't think they understand the heartache they put us through when they make the decisions that they make. So, uh, like, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. the reason Amiibo are so scarce, like every time a new one is launched, mm -hmm. is because the price is so low. Like, if you look at the supply-demand curve, your average company will look at where the supply and demand meet and make that the price point. Mm -hmm. But Nintendo will put the price point way to the left of that and make it way cheaper than they could because they could easily sell Amiibo at $25, $30 a pop right. and they'd sell out of their stock but they keep it at that lower price because they want kids with pocket money to be able to afford it. Oh, okay. Well, if you phrase it like that, yeah. I was about to use my like canon retcon powers and be like, no, <laughs> Nintendo hates its fans. <laughs> but I was like, no, that would be too mean. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> the The... <laughs> People who, I can't even say they hate Nintendo fans because they make so much money from Nintendo fans, is the scalpers. <laughs> oh, They're the ones to blame because, yeah. because the new Amiibo drops and they go out there and they buy all of them mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. go and resell them for the price that Nintendo could be selling them at. Yep. And that's, that, that's what happens. And that's true of not only Amiibo, but like anything Nintendo that isn't like a video game. Yeah. Like they do that with all the special edition uh, switches. They do that with all the special edition 3DSs. They do that with all the figures. Like before Amiibo, like there was a special Skull Kid version of the Majora's Mask that came out for 3DS. And it came with a Skull mm -hmm. Kid figure. And that thing went immediately, like as soon as it launched, because scalpers just bought it the fuck up. Gotcha. Yeah. And, yeah. and Nintendo, the other thing is, Nintendo makes a lot of their stuff not pre-orderable mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. like it's just a matter of getting in there before the scalpers do which is terrible yeah yeah, yeah i have a very 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 dim view of scalpers i believe we've used a guild mm -hmm. decree about scalpers before <laughs> wow yeah, yeah that's fair <laughs> like about how much they suck <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i'm of the mind of if a scalper was to lose their stock through nefarious means, they get what they deserve. Baron, are you advocating crime? Whoa, 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 whoa wait, I sorry. Say, whoa. I just wanted to. I said I nothing, about okay. nothing about Larsenate. Okay. I did. Steal from them. Steal from the scalpers, <laughs> kids. Everyone. Everyone listening. <laughs> Do it. If you know a scalper, steal from them. <laughs> just don't get caught. <laughs> Yeah, don't get caught. I mean, obvious. Yeah, like a good thief, you know. And like, don't be a good thief look. About it. If a scalper stole a bunch of Magic: The Gathering cards, be careful about stealing the Magic: The Gathering cards from the scalper, because wizards might send the Pinkertons. Dear God, and... uh, <laughs> that whole bullshit. I can't even. I can't. Uh, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. a lot of feelings. A lot of feelings about that one. Mm -hmm. I was so mad. <laughs> oh, yeah. My husband went on like a three day rant, like just about it, and I was like also getting pumped up, like, yeah, that fucking sucks. Why would they do that to him? Like, I was just so upset. How, how long is that episode, Baron? We went on like an hour and a half long rant. We, yeah, we, yeah, we went on for a while. Uh, Completely fair. Yeah. Uh, oh, so. oh, and, um, oh, here's a fun thing. I, I play Pathfinder primarily, not D&D. Um, because my friends hate me and hate that I am bad at m numbers, so they like to torment me. Um, and <laughs> so I play Pathfinder. And um, what do you guys think of like the most recent? They did a retcon where it's like Drow never existed ever. And it's like, wait a minute. Like, so they just gaslit us all for like, how does a character like we have Pathfinder characters who are Drow? How do we survive this again? Like, You're just an elf in blackface now. I know. Oh. That's what I was thinking. It's terrible. Oh, <laughs> like, how are racist. we supposed to? How are we supposed to like navigate this very bizarre retcon? <laughs> like, what? I don't. What's yeah. their What's their reasoning? I mean, is that literal? Is it a retcon where they literally said there were no drow ever? Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. Um, let me see if I can look it up. But they basically were like, it was a whole lie. You guys have been lied to and drow aren't real. Let's see. Drow retcon. Um, I sent a message to my my uh, evil campaigns. Like, well, we have like an Underdark campaigns Discord channel. And I sent a retcon where I was like, I sent a message where it was like, um, oh, man, I didn't know M. Night Shyamalan was working for Paizo. Like, I had no idea. I'm stumbling over my words because I'm trying to Google and speak at the okay, same time. Okay, so it looks like here they're removing Drow in order to remove the canon ties to D&D. Yes. Yes. Which, fair. Yeah. But then what do we do? <laughs> how am I supposed to have my character? <laughs> and seeing as how Drow were invented by Gary Gygax, mm. that's, yeah, if you're trying to re remove your canon ties to D&D, I can see... Why you would do that? Just call him something different. Yeah, or, that's what I'm or, saying. Or just keep playing your drow. Yeah. 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 Just because I mean, Pathfinder yeah. <laughs> retcon them doesn't mean your game has to. Right. Yeah, I just feel sorry for the like really buy the books people. It's like how are they? I guess I don't know what they're gonna do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you woke up and it was all a dream, and <laughs> you're just a regular elf. Don't worry about it. I think my whole Nintendo spiel. <laughs> it's based on the fact that I bought the most recent Pokemon game. What was it? Scarlet? Scarlet and Violet, yeah. And I felt personally attacked because <laughs> it was so Jesus. bad. I was like, this is something I grew up with. Like, I had yellow when I was a kid, and everything's ruined now, and I can never love Pokemon again. <laughs> what I does that enjoyed mean? Scarlet and Violet, but only because I knew what I was getting. I have gone on several rants mm. about how the Pokemon company has given up. And mm -hmm. they are not turning out what they could. But I believe, I couldn't tell you what episode we were talking about it in, but I was talking about how amazing Tears of the Kingdom is. Yes. And then you turn around and you look at Scarlet and Violet, both produced yeah. by Nintendo, mm -hmm. but it, it's time. It's time. They forced the Pokemon company to yeah. churn those things out. And I shouldn't say they, because honestly, I don't know who it is that's setting the deadline, right? I don't mm -hmm. know if Nintendo is setting the deadline on the Pokemon company. I don't know if the Pokemon company is setting the line deadline on Game Freak. I don't know. But somewhere, mm -hmm. they're like, you need to turn out these Pokemon games like every year or every couple of years. Meanwhile, yeah. on the other side of the Nintendo studio, you got Tears of the Kingdom, where fans are like, why is it taking them so long Mm -hmm. to come out with tears of the kingdom it's an asset reusing sequel and then tears of the kingdom comes out and you're like oh ah uh, yes that's <laughs> what now. was taking so long and like the amount of time that's put into it and i feel like if they put that amount of time if you look at pokemon legends arceus mm -hmm. but i won't um <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's so good it's still not as good as, let's say, Tears of the Kingdom, you know what I mean? That's got a lot of graphical mm -hmm. issues and things like that. Mm -hmm. But it's such a good game, and because it wasn't one of the mainline games, I don't think mm -hmm. it had that same deadline. Yeah, that one was done really well. I think the, um, and I I don't know if you guys got this at all from, from Scarlet and Violet, but I had this like uncanny valley with the setting itself. Yeah, it was like deeply creepy to me and unsettling. A um, lot of the textures wouldn't load, or they wouldn't yeah. load until you were like right on top of them. And yeah, it's yeah. and like the the worst the worst is the classroom. You go in the classroom yes. and like it, the game itself can't handle how many kids are in that classroom. So like their <laughs> legs they're animated on like the sixes, like the way yep. their legs are swinging. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just remember, like, I, I just, I found it, like, hard to, I, I don't think I ever finished it. I think I just couldn't do it, because I was so deeply unsettled by how creepy and expansive the landscapes were, and how there was, like, nothing for miles. I was like, this is not, this is so unrealistic, I can't handle it. Like, <laughs> in a game where you throw Pokemon and balls at each other, yeah, I know, but, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's I do. Just, like, Sword and Shield had a beautiful setting. Like, it was gorgeous, and it felt compact and not eerie at all to me. But then, yeah. It's interesting, because I felt, I felt opposite. I bought really? Sword and Shield, and I did not finish it. 
I didn't finish it because of how much I didn't like it. And then oh, Scarlet no. and Violet, not only did I play that game, I beat every every main... Because there are three main quests, mm-hmm. depending mm-hmm. on which... I beat all three main quests and the post game. Wow. And yeah. I really enjoyed Scarlet and Violet, but, but something about Sword and Shield really rubbed me the wrong way. Oh, um, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, to each their own, you know? Yeah. Sword, sword and Shields is better, but don't... don't. I, it's all right. It's fine. I get it. I get it, man. <laughs> we'll let the... We'll let the comment... The guildies decide. The all right. Yeah. I think oh, for Lord. that... I think it came down to the Pokemon for me. Like, ah. the, the new Galar Pokemon, like, I wasn't interested in. But, mm. like, when it came to my team on Scarlet and Vi- Violet, like, Tinkaton was that bitch. Like, you don't mess with fucking Tinkaton. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> she was. I loved her so much. I love that. She brought down that <laughs> hammer, and I wasn't. I wasn't playing. <laughs> so. She laid down the law. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay. All right. I guess. I guess. I guess Scarlet's okay. <laughs> I think some of the Pokemon are okay. It's fine. I'm just grumpy, you know. Like for us first generation Pokemon no, players, we I get, get grumpy. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm that guy too. Trust me. Yeah. Go back and listen to some of my Pokemon rants. It gets nasty. Oh really? <laughs> Especially our second Pokemon episode. Like I was, I I almost went back and re-recorded and re-edited that episode because like was i way too salty like this entire okay. episode like was i too much of, which i was if i admit but like i still released it um <laughs> but yeah like the entire time i was just like shitting all over the pokemon company and how much i hated them and i was like these are all great ideas and you know why i'll never know they'll never happen because pokemon company Oh. Wow. <laughs> they just need to remaster the classics, I think. I think that's what needs to be done. Well, they they did, won't do they, it. They did that. Sure. No, like Crystal. Let's go. Let well, they did they redid Yellow and Yeah, that was good. yeah, that's pretty good. With pretty Let's good. Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu and like they just that's redid cool. Diamond and Pearl. Why would they skip over? Well, they <laughs> like, didn't. They didn't. Oh, it's just okay. it's all come out on the systems that like so like it started mm. with red and blue, right? But in Japan, it was red and green. And right. those were for the original Game Boy. They mm. remade them for Game Boy Advance as fire, red, and leaf green. Yep. Yeah. And I love those. gold and silver were on Game Boy Color. Mm-hmm. They remade those on the Nintendo DS as heart, gold, and soul silver. They and gotta do it again. They've <laughs> they've done it with every generation, like Alpha, mm. Alpha Keep Ruby going. and Omega Sapphire, <laughs> uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They've done it with all of them. You know what I mean? It's and now, like I said, they kind of did start over. They went back to Generation One with Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. Yeah. So yeah. they might be going back to do Gen Two again. Who knows? They might. Die I back certainly Gen hope 2. they do. Gen 2, I, I fuck with Gen 2. That's my favorite. Because you could be what a girl if... for the first time. Hell yeah. Here's here's what I think <laughs> they should do with Pokemon. And I don't know if I've said this before. But I think Legends Arceus needs to become... Or Pokemon Legends needs to become a series. Yeah, for sure. And what Pokemon, what legendary Pokemon is entirely based around time? Like time travel, which is what Pokemon Legends is all about. Mm. Celebi. Celebi, yeah. Who is the mythical Pokemon from Gen 2. The best generation. Give us a Pokemon Legends Celebi. Mm, mm-hmm. And give us like like the Legends Arceus is the ancient version of Gen 4. Mm-hmm. Give us the ancient version of Gen 2. Hell yeah. I'm down for that. I'm Also, if they made it like the movie, <laughs> which I vaguely remember... They could make that beautiful forest that Celebi lived in. Right. That'd be so fun. They'd have to. Yeah. But oh, they won't I do it have... because it's a good idea and they're Pokemon company. I have a special oh. announcement. Um, um. Uh, Baron, my husband, wanted you to know that he subbed to your channel. Yeah. He just, he just sent me a message on Discord even though he's sitting right, right across from <laughs> me. <laughs> Baron says, yay. <laughs> do, I, do you mean my, my Twitch channel? Was it Twitch, love? What's he's the YouTube. YouTube channel? Dad from a oh, distance. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I haven't updated that in a while, but I do have plans to, so 
Nice. We're, we're, we're going to be watching it. <laughs> Go check out Dad from a Distance, Baron's YouTube channel. Yeah. Dad from a Distance. Oh, that's right. Yes, that was the first one I saw of yours, yep. I think. Wasn't it? Yeah, must have been. Wait, are you counting TikTok? No. No, no, but like, I think your first no. YouTube video that I saw was like a, I think you were doing a recipe, right? Probably. Yeah. I mean, the, the whole, the whole video series is uh, Dad from a Distance. Mm -hmm. Dad from a Distance. I like that. It's vaguely ominous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's supposed, it's supposed to be. Good. Okay. Not in that way. Not in that way, but it is, it is vaguely <laughs> yeah. ominous. In what way? Wait, what? <laughs> in like a, a memento mori kind of way. Memento mori. No, seriously, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. In that, in that one day I'm going to die and my kid is going to wish that he could hear my voice again or see me again. So he'll have a YouTube channel to go to. Oh, yep. that's so sweet. While you're at it, you can go sub oh. to my TikTok. I'm making meat over there. Well, that's true. Hell yeah. It's good shit. I, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I need to dust off my TikTok. I haven't touched it in a while. I've been on it, but just ghosting i don't know ghosting and sending people videos yeah well you know what i still have to have my fun <laughs> <laughs> and i see things that i think you'll like or that you won't understand at all and i like sending them to you they're so perverse <laughs> they're just so perverse so perverse wait the last oh, thing i sent you wait, was that no, squid I'm sorry. That no was that's what else. i'm my sending <laughs> yeah, oh. you're right. yep yep my bad <laughs> No, people talk about so like I, TikTok being full of thirst traps, and I, I have no idea what people are talking about because I have none I, on my TikTok. I could have ran with the squid thing, though. I, I could have yeah. octopus. Thing. I could have ran with that. I thought it was like a dad joke. I thought you'd appreciate, you know. <laughs> um, to clarify, it's a video of a squid that some people might have seen on TikTok, and he goes clear. And then this voiceover goes, I think I've made myself clear. <laughs> oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> and it's so cute. <laughs> I Wait, sent so that link to my wife. Your For You page is like super wholesome and stuff? Uh, yeah, it's like, all it's all um, comedians and D&D &D creators. And, you know, the thing is, I, that's the thing. All these senators who are like, my for you page is full of 14 year old girls like half oh. naked and it's like you're telling on yourself you're yeah. telling on yourself like yeah. your for you page is full of things that you watch and you like like if you watch through the whole video they're going to push more videos like that if you like and share the video they're going to push more videos like that so yeah yep. my for you page is full of neuro neurodivergent people like telling you how to deal with neurodivergent shit uh D &D creators <laughs> um well it's like neuro spicy to me okay <laughs> i watch a lot of kadiosaurus so neuro spicy to me is like oh. uh sex if you have AD, uh, adhd like oh. which oh, is it's a, its own unique problem which kadiosaurus yeah. fucking understands um <laughs> Yeah, and then, like, wholesome stuff. Like, you know, if I were an otter and you were an otter, like, we would hold hands so I'd make sure you didn't get lost as we drifted down the river. Oh, my like, God. Like, that's my For You page. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Mine, weirdly enough, flips from D&D &D mm -hmm. or, you know, gaming-related stuff mm -hmm. to witchy stuff. Hmm. And then straighten the thirst traps. Sometimes <laughs> they overlap, which is when it gets weird. <laughs> mine is mine is like um, it's art content, and obviously, and then it's like uh, D and D, and then sometimes it's cooking content because I like to look, think I'm going to learn how to cook oh. better. Yeah, yeah cooking <laughs> yeah. content too. Yeah, and then sometimes it's like Boba Fett shutting a laptop aggressively and looking down it. You know, you know. Sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's that. <laughs> What? Don't look at me like. Don't look at I'm, the screen like that, Baron. You, uh, what? You don't. You don't. You don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I see. We're like-minded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> mm, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my husband knows. Like, he hears like the specific sound clips, you know, and he's like, "Oh my god, what's she watching? <laughs> like, what's going on over there?" Like nothing. Recently, it's, it's been good. a ton of Tears of the Kingdom content on my oh, for, for sure. you page. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Korok, Korok Apocalypse. <laughs> God. People are so mean to the Koroks. <laughs> Stop are. it. It's funny though, a little bit. Come on. <laughs> I, I send, I, my wife sees a lot of what's on my For You page because she does TikTok. She doesn't do TikTok at all, but she'll like watch me watching TikTok or I'll send her TikToks and she'll watch those. No That's idea what her strategy. For You page looks like because she doesn't go on it. Mm-hmm. Um, I imagine it would look exactly like mine because the only TikTok she watched are ones that I send her. Mm-hmm. Fair, fair. But she'll be watching me play Tears of the Kingdom, and she'll see the Korok in the back of a cart that I made specifically for it. That I'm like cradling Ooh. it and like riding a horse <laughs> and taking it over to its friend. And she's like, "You're not the same as these other people <laughs> on TikTok." And I'm like, "No, no, I'm not." <laughs> I think. I, and this is the thing. I can watch people being shitty in video games. I, I think it's the funniest thing. Yeah. But I'll restart a goddamn video game if I do one line of dialogue that upsets an NPC I like. I'm yeah. like, oh, God, sorry. I'll start over. it. It's fine. It's fine. It's the beginning of the level. That's fine. I'll do it again. <laughs> I just can't. And like, I think the only two times I've hurt a Korok, I've been accidentally dropping a rock on them. Oh, that's what I've been up. doing. Yeah. And I did it the first time accidentally, and he made a oh, little, yeah. little, like a little noise, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I've done it every time since. Oh my god! And I, and I giggled just like that when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like that, not super malicious, like putting them on a cross and burning them over a chasm. Right. It's like right, just like, ha, a stone. <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> You're fine, but you said ouch. <laughs> you were hiding under this rock, so now it hits your head again. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Go back under there, you Go silly. Go back under. Yeah. If you were under there before so perfectly, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah. Where do you think they are? In a different dimension? Like a pocket dimension or something? I don't know. I genuinely. Fey realm. That's a genuine Yeah, question. that's what I was going to say. I imagine the Fey Korok realm. have their own version of the Fey Realm. Where all the big ladies go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Giant woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. Giant woman. <laughs> oh, they're so charming. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I'm not going to lie. The, the first one popped out. I'm like, oh, oh my. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get some moblin guts for you to rearrange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> oh, that was so layered. I fucking love it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so dark too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. God. Mm. Oh, oh my god. I have to show you guys at some point. They made a full-on Bacoblin like nature documentary with someone sounding like David Attenborough Stop. on YouTube. No, they did. Oh they did. no, it's amazing. You should watch it. <laughs> Baron, if you did not get that joke from TikTok, you need to put that joke on TikTok. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. okay. Wait, what? That, that I need to get some uh, Moblin guts for you to rearrange. Like, oh, that God. needs to be. Uh. Think of the children, Baron. Don't do it. <laughs> I mean, by the, the time they're upgrading. me on my TikTok. Yeah. Huh? What? <laughs> That the children who shouldn't be on my TikTok. Yeah, that's probably true. On my Bottom Christian up. Minecraft server. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> it's just for the part of the family that's 18 plus. Right. Family after dark. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I just put in Bacoblin. That's it. That's all I put into YouTube. Yeah. Boom. Came up. Life is a Bacoblin and Zelda Nature docu- documentary. Yeah. First fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Your guy at Google's listening, man. He's, man, I guess. He's got, man, my... he's got it. <laughs> it's really good, though. I, I would highly recommend to everyone who's watching this to go watch it. It's hilarious. <laughs> if you like David Attenborough, which who doesn't? Yeah. National treasure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Not our national treasure, of course. No. <laughs> but treasure but, right, treasure you know. of a different nation. Yes. <laughs> but still treasure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think ours Fuck. would be it would be Morgan Freeman. That's our our national treasure uh, yeah, narrator. Yeah, yeah. gold right, standard. Yeah, perfect. Mm-hmm. 
Perfect. We aspire. Yeah. Well, we or just all know Frank, it's not you know? freaking Benedict Cumberpatch who can't even say penguin. Penguins, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pen- Pen- Penguins. Yeah. Penguins. <laughs> Penguins. <laughs> yeah, I still can't code out whether or not that's a real thing or if he's just making it all up because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like he's a trained Shakespearean <laughs> actor. How could he not say penguin? You know. <laughs> so you you didn't you didn't test it. I want to know if maybe he tested it out beforehand and just no one told him. It, no, oh. they, like okay, he explains it in an interview with Graham Norton. Mm-hmm. So please look that up if you'd like the explanation. Yeah, he was in a booth. There were sound techs outside. They could have <laughs> stopped him at any point in time. <laughs> Fucking nope. <laughs> They just stood aside and watched Rome burn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, he stopped he stopped halfway through his uh his read through. Why are you playing the fiddle out there? <laughs> Why is everyone laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> oh like, no. Can, can he not pronounce other can he not pronounce like Guinevere? Like would it be like Guinevere? No, <laughs> like, like the whole thing he can say penguin just fine. He just didn't realize he was saying it wrong. At the moment. Okay. Yeah, okay and moment. like yeah. it's <laughs> But why? <laughs> but why? I don't know. I feel Horrifying. like I bet it was a bunch of like young sound techs, like newer sound techs, and like none of them had the balls to tell Bunda Dependent Cumberpatch that he's wrong. That's like, they're, they're all just sitting there like yeah. like I'm not gonna tell him. You tell him. I'm not, I'm not going to tell him. What did he just say? <laughs> one guy, say? then one guy walks up. Tell tell him what? That's how you pronounce it. That's why I told him to pronounce it before we started this. They'd be like, "Did Leon do a oh, do a, no. is there like a spelling error in there? Like, <laughs> <laughs> do we need to correct but, yeah. the spelling?" <laughs> the guy that wrote the script. Like, oh, yeah. we're firing this guy. <laughs> yeah, we're firing this guy. Oh, oh man. man! And now he's out on the picket line. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh as he should be yeah yep at least yeah. he's not a scab because you know what he didn't get paid enough for that fucked up script <laughs> no yeah he did not it. at That's all true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. more monies for them i say this, this <laughs> funny funny imaginary script writer <laughs> yeah. yeah uh yeah leon yeah <laughs> the script yep, writer that's his, yep, that's his name that's his yeah. name. Uh, it's Leon Kennedy. That's his name. That's yeah. his actual <laughs> yeah. name. I've never... People make fun of him, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. High school was rough. <laughs> Look, buddy, just stay as far away from every police station as possible as you can. Which, honestly, <laughs> is good advice for anyone in life. But Fair. Especially yeah. if your name is Leon Kennedy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I love this. I love this, like jumping around in conversation by the way this just feeds my soul deeply uh, i love it let me tell you <laughs> welcome to it's caster's so, I, guild <laughs> no i love yes. it I, I do unironically i'm telling you it's great. I, I think it's so much better for us too it's kind of something we've already done it's something we've done before anyways mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. now it's like we are just off the leash we are we don't care. If there is no topic. We are just going ham. <laughs> yeah, the first three seasons we had topics and like, you know, we would still talk about whatever we wanted, but like we would kind of stray back to the topic. No, mm. not anymore. Mm-mm. Season four. Guild, Guild train Guild off the rails. Wild. Ooh, <laughs> I like wild. it. Yeah, <laughs> you can use it. I'll let you. Sweet. <laughs> Allowed. It's going. Yep. It's going. <laughs> just baby royalties. Okay. Just like send me fifty cents every month or something. Baron's working on the mock up right now. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Amazing. There's a contract. I'm drawing up the contract, everything. Cool, 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 cool. I have to afford my avocado toast somehow, so you know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Cause we all know that's why all us millennials are broke as shit, because avocado yeah, toast. All, all us millennials. Yeah. Yeah, Baron. <laughs> <laughs> Baron will adopt you if you if you'd rather be. Yeah. yeah. And now, you know what? You know what? As as the representative Gen X, hmm. you're welcome. Oh, I thought you were gonna apologize. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I misread that. <laughs> If you oh, thought he was going to apologize, you don't know Baron. <laughs> well, let me tell you. 
We worked hard on this dumpster fire. It's yours now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was expecting. I was you. expecting worse. I was about. To, I was expecting me to just go as the representative of Gen X. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Go to hell, everyone at <laughs> See, you were expecting the apology. I was expecting the fuck off, and he hit right in the middle. Right in the center. The, with the you're welcome. Dead center. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bullseye. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, no, no, you guys did your job. It's cool. It's, you know, <laughs> we're doing our job as best we can. We yeah, all we've, are. We've all done the best we could with what we were handed. Yeah. Uh, yep. Gen, Gen Z, it's up to you, guys. <laughs> I can't give up. Best of luck. Yeah. Best of <laughs> really, I, I think really what, what, it, what it is is a lot of Gen X tried to, to stand up and block the millennials from getting hit. And no. we're, there just wasn't enough of us. Mm-mm. Now yeah. it's up to the millennials and the uh, and Gen X to block the Gen Z to get some shit done. I think we're doing a better job. Yeah, I think. But yeah. there's still... there's more. Uh, we got a greater number. We're we're shoring up those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're yeah. doing what we can for sure. <laughs> uh, they're in trouble once the Gen Z joins the blocking ranks for Alpha. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Then they're in trouble. You know, it is funny that they're calling the next generation Generation Alpha because a long time ago. Before they even named Generation Z, I was like, you know what? They should name them Generation Omega. Yeah. And then, sure as shit, they named the next ones after that Alpha. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. They're still yeah. Omega to me. Yeah. Living in their little Omega verse. That's right. <laughs> Don't worry. If you know, you know. Fortnite. <laughs> 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 We try, we try. You know, my parents are are sweet people, but goddamn, the boomers. I can't, I can't with them sometimes. I'm like, please just go, just go into another room. It's the entitlement for me, really. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, sometimes I just want to like. And then then calling us entitled. (laughs) Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. They built the world we grew up in. Like, what do they want from us? Like, (laughs) you know? That's that's what I never got. It's like kids on their phones these days, and it's like you guys made those phones. You guys made those goddamn phones. <laughs> these these what millennials you and their participation trophies—the ones you gave us that we didn't ask for. Yeah. Is, like, it's... <laughs> oh, yep. I remember that participation trophy. I had a little patch, <laughs> a little presidential <laughs> patch. <laughs> the ones that ended up in the trash because none of us cared. Oh yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know where any, I think I even got a few, and I I just I don't know where they're at. Yeah, I have yeah, no, clue. no idea. Yeah, <laughs> we're all winners, though, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Planet said we could change the world. Yeah, unless you're Baron trying to fight that one boss, <laughs> then we're not <laughs> winners. <laughs> Man, I guess that does kind of sum up my uh, world view, doesn't it? <laughs> you rage quit for how many years again, Baron? Man, I don't want to talk about it, too. Oh, okay, maybe. okay, okay, sorry, sorry you brought it up. <laughs> that was probably the most effective rage quit I've ever had. Damn ever. you, water blank, Gannon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's totally fair, but <laughs> like, right? Uh, I'll tell you what, though, me co- me coming back and beating his ass was the most satisfying boss fight oh, I've ever had in my life. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Oh I my god! Came. Oh, I may yeah. have came. Yeah, you earned it. You earned it. <laughs> yeah, you did, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Sorry. Don't pat me on the don't pat me on the back. I'm sensitive. I can't. I can't pat you on the back if I wanted to. Man. I don't. said don't. Anyways, don't. Okay, fine. Don't on. bully me. I'll come. <laughs> Straight to jail. Straight to jail. Straight there. Jesus. Oh, is please. that bullying? Wait a minute. Uh, you know, shit. There's no winning. All right. <laughs> so I, I, got, I gotta get off Twitter. I just found a uh, Miguel O'Hara thirst trap. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, they're everywhere. Mm. Yeah. 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 Insidious, they creep into the world. <laughs> I 
only saw the one actually. I only saw the one on TikTok. I didn't. I'm uh, shocked. Maybe it's the same one. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. uh, it was the "I Like Them Big" song. If that's oh, speaking, yeah, no. speaking that's of relevant thirst traps, um, can we talk about the fact that Sidon and Yuna want to have Link in a polyamorous threesome? Um, I okay. haven't gotten that far okay. in the game, but do go on. <laughs> okay, okay. So we all know who what? Sidon is, right? Prince Sidon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Some people call him Fish Daddy. Yeah. Fair. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. In Tears of the Kingdom, he is engaged. Yes. To a okay. uh, fish woman named Yuna. Yeah. Now, if you've played Breath of the Wild, you understand the lore around Zora armor. That if oh. a female Zora makes Zora armor for a male, it is basically a proposal to marriage. Oh, wait, and no, that's, I... and Mifa yeah. makes the armor for Link, which is a great big thing that all the Zoras hate it because Mifa loves Link. Oh my god. Wait, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got that armor too. That Who makes, makes wow. the Zora armor for Link in Tears of the Kingdom. Yep. Yuna, Sidon's fiance. Yep. Oh. Well <laughs> see, if Nintendo was trying to get rid of the people who are shipping Link. <laughs> Side on, they really should have proofread that better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because what? now, now it's going to be polyamory all day, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a marry Wait, both yeah. of them fish. Polyamorous <laughs> monster fucking. Yep. Oof. I'm in. Yeah, we were talking about for you pages earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, ah. No, no I, I don't. I, I think <laughs> as much as I, I leaned just... into that, I, I never understood the side on thirst trapping. Um I'm more of a Pura man myself, especially with Tears of the Kingdom. Not in Breath of the Wild. She's she's basically a child. But um in uh in Tears of the Kingdom. Right. People have been Pura, have been Pura can yeah. get it. Yeah. Um, no, I mm. Yeah. Seeing her grow up was kind of weird, though. I don't know. I got like, um, what was it? Uh, I mean, like you in, do in the Game anime Thrones. thing where she's over a hundred in both right. forms, right. anyway. Yeah. But like, because she got <laughs> due to a, a due to an experiment, she got shrunk. So like, she's just getting back to her normal. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's actually true. But it is that anime thing, and yes. that anime thing is Problematic. a whole kettle of fish. Yeah. <laughs> a whole kettle yeah. of fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was but that one it was like a dragon over, anime that sorry go ahead sorry. oh no, yeah yeah no i was just repeating myself over made. over 100 year old mm-hmm. pura with adult body couldn't get it yeah she's a cutie mm-hmm. yeah she got that nerdy thing going on oh yeah i like it yeah glasses yeah <laughs> <laughs> i could see that no i don't know i i I've never, like, in particularly been attracted to anyone in that game series. Oh, except for Ganondorf. What am I talking about? Excuse me. <laughs> was it the Mercer whole Gerudo, or was it just... The whole Gerudo village, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ganondorf. He can get it. IMO. Was, was it Mercer or is it just in general? Just Oh, um, interesting question. Interesting question. No, I think it's just... The moment they gave him a beard. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And I was just kind of like, all right, okay. Because, like, in... Oh, what was the game? Which game was it? He has, like, the receding hairline and no facial hair. And he <laughs> looks, like, fucking messed up. Yeah. And you're just kind of like... <laughs> and then they give him a beard and he's like, oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the Ganon yeah. glow up. <laughs> My man needed it. <laughs> he needed some facial hair. <laughs> All right, and with with that lovely note, I think we're going to end this episode. <laughs> okay. We were just getting warmed up. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>. <laughs> so, uh, so a good Elise, if people liked what you had to say and they want to find you somewhere else on the internet, where can they do that? Well, it's hard to do for those internet sleuths, but um, you can find me on TikTok at Astopheles. Basically, that's what I do. I have several accounts on many different things, but I don't touch them. TikTok is where I'm active. So, yeah, if you guys like uh, art and idiotic content and a little bit of cringy cosplay, then you're good. You'll like my stuff. (laughs) Enjoy, fellows. That's our target audience right there. 
I love it. <laughs> Perfect. I'll see y'all there. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us to this episode of Casters Guild. Email us at castersguild at gmail.com uh, and come check out our Discord. That's where all the fun is happening. Come see Catbat. Catbat. Representation. <laughs> Hell yeah. And, and, and sexy, sexy Carrie always. And sexy yeah. Carrie always. You mean just Carrie always? <laughs> Thank you. Oxymoron to like add the sex. Yeah. <laughs> Redundant. It's just like chai. It's chai tea. Yes. It's sexy Carrie always <laughs> drinking to chai tea. <laughs> That's exactly right. right. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Yeah. Huh? Bye. Bye. All right. Do I actually disconnect or? <laughs> <laughs>